welcome to the first season of ancient anecdotes powered by listen come this is your host ramanathan ayer and this is dalita ramanathan good night papa appa hmm. i can't sleep i keep feeling there are some people in my room like me no pa other people like thieves and kidnappers and murderers huh I feel they might creep upon me in the night. How will they come up here, Papa? They might climb up to the room, no. How, Papa? You are on the 8th floor of a gated community that has patrolling security all the time. They will come through the roof. Papa, there is literally a barred window there. Tell me what all did you do today? Nothing new, Pa. Just playing. When Rishab and you were playing in the room, what were you up to? Just drawing and telling stories. Oi. Tell me the truth. Mm, actually, you know what happened when you and Paresh uncle were discussing about the trip to Horanadu and Rishabh and me were playing in the room. Rishabh suggested, "Let's check out some cool videos about where we're going." Okay. His eyes were gleaming with mischief. I hesitated, but we're not supposed to use laptop without mom or dad. I said, "Rishab coaxed me." He said, "Come on, Lalita. They'll never know. We'll just watch a few videos." <coughs> yeah, I gave in, and soon we were lost in the labyrinth of YouTube without any filters to steer us away from the content that were not meant for our eyes. And now you're not able to sleep. Papa, it is important to always do the right thing even if it means admitting to a mistake. Protecting a friend doesn't mean hiding the truth, especially when you both know it is wrong. I'm so sorry, pa. Sorry, sir. Don't worry. This is nothing new. King Vasu also tried to support Indra and had to spend some time in the Rasatala Loka as detention. Huh? Indra also saw YouTube videos that were not meant for his age, is it? his age ah you know how old indra is <laughs> anyhow the story is not actually about youtube videos but it is a really good interesting listen nevertheless ooh story time but you must go off to sleep right after this okay okay pa in the ancient pages of the skanda puranam during the satya yuga Brahma performed various yagnas using seeds that had been stored for 3 years and were devoid of sprouts. This is a great dharmic yagna worship. During the Satya Yuga all the sages followed the injunctions that Lord Brahma had laid down. Then the great deluge arrived inevitably at the end of Satya Yuga. As the golden age of Satya Yuga ended and the pralaya led to the beginning of the Treta Yuga. with the swayambhuva manvantara the great king vishwajit was appointed to the position of devendra guided by pitamaha brahma vishwajit acquired the sagacity to teach manu the righteous execution of the yagnas employing satvik practices on earth this profound teaching got recorded in the cosmic eta called as chidakasha it was accessed by meditating sages who felt it to be conveyed directly to them hence the vedas came to be known as shruti renowned as shrautas these sages immersed in contemplation assimilated these teachings which were then orally transmitted to their pupils these teachings once codified came to be known as smriti with the pupils being referred to as smartas smart tas <laughs> smart people is it yes people who had living gurus in their lifetimes are definitely smart you are also a smart tha my dear and their gurus had to shout out the knowledge by mouth that's why they were called shoutas ah hey the fellow not shoutas shrautas tell shrautas hmm good In the Vedic tradition yagnas are conducted by four priests the hota who recites rigvedic invocations the advaryu handling the rituals physical aspects and offering oblations and so on 
the udgata priests who will be chanting the hymns aloud for everyone to hear and the brahma overseeing the yagna correcting any errors say hota advaryu udgata and brahma good job in order to further the sovereignty of the devas devendra vishwajit began a great sacrifice called as the ashwamedha yagna the ritual was to proceed in accordance with the injunctions laid down by the vedas but since the devas at the time were desirous of consuming non vegetarian food they conveniently interpreted the vedic injunction for the ashwamedha yagna oblations to offer animal sacrifices meanwhile on earth swayambhu manu married shatarupa and through lord brahma's grace their first kingdom was set up in the verdant land of chedi where the earth sang with life manu and shatarupa's son was the great uttanapada his son was raja vasu raja vasu's heart was a sanctuary for all creatures great and small he believed that every flutter of wing and whisper of leaf was a verse in the grand hymn of existence appa hmm? wasn't dhruva king uttanapada's son true granddad used to tell us that before he became dhruva he was called vasu so dhruva is only king vasu yes correct steeped in devotion vasu lived as a true vaishnava his heart and soul dedicated to lord mahavishnu fostering in him a life of sattvic purity he was a monarch who found opulence not in grandeur but in simplicity nourishing himself with the bounty of the earth advocating for the care of all beings within his realm chedi prospered and shone as a shrine of peace and non-violence as more and more of his loyal subjects became influenced by their king's sattvic tendencies lord mahavishnu greatly appreciative of king vasu's austerities appeared several times before the king The Lord was ready to grant him any boon he desired but there was nothing that could unsettle King Vasu's content nature that is why he attained Dhruva Pada and became the pole star Indra the ruler of the divine found kinship with King Vasu together they journeyed across the skies in a chariot around Vasu's neck was the Vijayanti a garland that never wilted a gift from indra symbolizing the depth of their unshakable bond it was this very chariot that earned king vasu the title uparichara he who traverses the higher skies but friendship even divine can lead even the best of us sometimes astray it was during a time of great celebration that a challenge to king vasu's virtues emerged as fate would have it a group of great sages radiant as the sun arrived on the sacrificial grounds of the ashwamedha yagna they stopped at the location to take respite from their digvijayam appa hmm? what is a digvijayam hmm digvijayam is a walking tour of the world aimed at the welfare of the people papa the sages were greeted with all due respect and formalities such as padya and argya Upon seeing the preparations for the sacrifice the sages known for their sattvika nature were taken aback by the inherent violence in the yagna the sight of the animal destined for the sacrifice deeply unsettled the sages sparking a crucial dialogue with the devas about the true essence of dharma and yagna suta uvacha अधर्मो बलवानेशु हिंसा धर्मे सया तव नेष्ट पशुधस्वेश तव ये सुरोत्तम अधर्मो धर्म घाताय प्रारब्ध पशुस्वया ना धर्मो ह्य धर्मोध्यम न हिंसा धर्म उच्यते आगमेन भवान्यज्ञं करोतु यदि हेच्छसि 
ವಿಧಿದೃಷ್ಟೇನ ಯಜ್ಞೇನ ಧರ್ಮ ಅವ್ಯಯಹೇತುನಾ ಯಜ್ಞವೀಜೈ ಸುರಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಯೇಷು ಹಿಂಸಾ ನ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ತ್ರಿವರ್ಷ ಪರಮಂ ಕಾಲಂ ಉಷಿತೇರ ಪ್ರರೋರಿವಿ ಏಷ ಧರ್ಮೋ ಮಹಾನಿಂದ್ರ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಭುವಿ ಇತ ಪುರ ವಿಶ್ವಭುಗಿಂದ್ರಸ್ತು ಮುನಿಸ್ತದರ್ಶಿ ಜಂಗಮೇ ಸ್ಥಾವರೇರ್ವೇತಿ ಕೇರ್ಯೇಷ್ಟವ್ಯಮಿಹೋಚ್ಯತೆ ತೇತು ಖಿನ್ನಾವಿವಾದೇನ ತತ್ವಯುಕ್ತ ಮಹರ್ಷಯ ಸಂಧಾ ವಾಕ್ಯಮಿಂದ್ರೇಣ ಪ್ರಚುಚ್ಛೇಶ್ವರ ವಸು The sages, wise and serene, said, O mighty Devendra, O excellent among the Suras, the Agama Shastras in the Vedas speak of the term Aja in Homas and Yajnas. But we urge you to realize the true essence of this word. Aja signifies not just a he-goat, but also grains of rice. It is the latter, the offering of the earth, which upholds the true spirit of the yajna. The Rishi spoke with fervor. The Devas are born out of Sattva, purity and harmony. To you all, the true meaning of the yajna is the one that pleases Mother Nature, one that is void of violence, one that reflects the nature of both Devi Prakriti as well as our true nature. Lord Mahavishnu, who is verily Bhutakrit and Bhutabrit Purusha, the lord we revere delights in the yagna that harms no one maharshaya uchuhu chatushpadasya dharmasya sthapane eva sarvatha tatparyam asti vedasya natunasho asya himsaya ರಜಸ್ತಮೋ ದೋಷವಶಾಧಾಪ್ಯಸುರಪಾನೃಪಾ ವೇದ್ಯಾಥೋ ಯಥಸ್ಥಿತ ಗ್ರಹಿತವ್ಯೋ ಅನ್ಯಥಾನೈವಾಹುಷಿ ಚಕ್ರಿಯೋಚಿತ ಯಾದೃಶೋ ಹಿ ಗುಣೋ ಯಸ್ವಸ್ತೃಶ ಸ್ವಸ್ವಾನುಸಾರೇಣ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿ ಸ್ಯಾಚಕರ್ಮಣಿ ಸಾತ್ವಿಕೋದೇವ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ವಿಷ್ಣುರಮಾಪತಿ ಅಹಿಂಸೆ ಅಸ್ತಿ ತೋ ಅಧಿಕಾರಸ್ತುಷ್ಟೇ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೇಜಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ ಡೀಪ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ರಿಚುವಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ದೇ ಅಲೈನ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಹೆರೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ದೇ ಸೆಡ್ the satvikas like us whose essence is gentleness must engage in acts that are non violent it is the ignorance of rajas and tamas that misguides one to directly interpret the word aja as a domesticated animal the enlightened know the word aja to mean that which is infinite and that which does not have any birth grains and rice are like this a single grain can give rise to a million more our soul is similar it has neither birth nor death but becomes different names and forms in every birth it is said that upon hearing the far sighted sages words indra was suddenly struck with the realization that now we must decide whether to conduct the yagna worship using grains or animals as oblations at that exact time king vasu chanced to arrive at the scene both indra and the rishis asked king vasu to clarify the issue 
The rishis were sure King Vasu who rose to the heights of Dhruvapada as a result of ceaseless worship to the Lord will never condone such violence. Rishaya uchuhu Mahapragnya kathadrishtasthvaya yajna vidhi nrupa Uttana bade prabruhi samshayam chindhina prabho Shrutva vakyatta tastesham avicharya balabalam Veda shastram anusmritya yajna tattva muvachaha Devendra, on the other hand, was confident that his kinship with King Vasu will also hold some sway over his judgment. In the end, King Vasu sided with the Devas. O oh, revered sages, please forgive me if my understanding is wrong. But if the Yajna is to be conducted according to the Vedas, strictly, then the Vedas merely say, use Aja. And one can't attribute the true meaning without corroborative literature to the effect. Since the Yajna is a Shrauta Yajna, it was only heard this way. So I think the meaning of the word Aja is open to the Devas for interpretation. The Rishis felt terribly let down. They pleaded in a horrified tone. But what of the Devas' responsibility to Dharma? Not to mention these innocent creatures. King Vasu was rendered speechless. The Rishi is decreed. O King Vasu, you who chooses his favoritism to Devendra over Dharma should be banished to the Rasatala until redeemed of your act of falsification. Adhashva bhavanam drishtva tamartham bhagyato bhava Mithya vadin ripo yasmat pravivesha rasatalam Ityukta matre nripatihi pravivesha rasatalam Urdhvachari vasurbhutva rasatala charo abhavat vasudhatala vasitu tena mavayena so abhavat dharmanam samshayachetta Raja Vasuratha Gataha Tasman Vacha Mekena Bahugena Pisam Shayaha Bahudvarasya Dharmasya Sukhma King Vasu received the curse with folded hands. This is how the sixth chapter of the great Vasudeva Mahatmya completes in the Skanda Puranam. Appa? Yes, sweetheart? See, this story is about Devas wanting to eat non-vegetarian food. Vasu sided with the Devas. Okay, but how is it related to my seeing the YouTube secretly? See, Everyone knows about the time when Dhruva was not given King Uttanapada's love. Everyone knows when Maharishi Narada educated Dhruva to perform austerities towards Jagannatha Narayana. The Bhagavata Puranam speaks about Dhruva rising to the skies as a pole star and attaining Dhruvapada. But no one knows about him falling from there as well. Until today, if someone said, Dhruva, and asked you, what comes to your mind when you hear this name? What would you have told? The neglect of his own father and one-pointed focus towards devotion and Narayana, of course. Correct. You have got it. 
This is the reason for knowing this version of Dhruva's life. This is the core symbolism in this story. Deprived of his father's love through Uttanapada's neglect, Dhruva learned the value of earning the highest love, that of Narayana. But there was no tough situation. There was never a dilemma. He was clear about achieving the highest always and he succeeded in his goal. But what of lesser people? What of people who fail? How can Dhruva's life be an inspiration to you, for instance? You also do your pranayams every day. But see, you have also fallen from your ideals of telling the truth always. You have also failed to adhere to the discipline your parents have laid down for you. What of such people? What will they learn from the original story? Correct, Pa. Dhruva's original story from Bhagavatam does not emphasize dealing with consequences of one's wrong actions. Yes, the great and ingenious Veda Vyasa thankfully remembered to record this later episode in Dhruva's life. After reaching his goal also, it is necessary to adhere to dharma. And it is not easy. You mustn't side with your senses. The devas represent our senses. Indro me baleshritaha balagum hridaye hridayam mayi aham amrite e amritam brahmani Correct. Our senses are both our strength and weakness. The Indradi Devas get the urge to digress from the path of dharma, from the path of non-violence. King Vasu represents the humans now. In spite of knowing that he had to side with dharma, King Vasu decided to side with his friend Devendra. See, knowing that you should not watch anything without age appropriateness, supervision and filter, you gave in to your senses. to the words of your friends this might happen to you in future also some friend might be smoking a cigarette and might tell you it is okay to try it out a group of friends might be eating non vegetarian food and your circumstances and your friends might try to convince you to consume it when you go to high school some friends might be doing drugs you might want to try it out the situations are countless at that time your appa might not be around to tell you but the memory of this story will come to your assistance Dhruva has already demonstrated that even he can fall from the status of uparichara to adhochara remember this always i should say no to such dangerous digressions from dharma how unfortunate it was for king vasupa that indra always getting good people into troubles appa hmm Is the problem of consumption of drugs relevant to us children as well? Yes, Papa. Even school children are not safe today. Harmful drugs are more widely available than potato chips nowadays. It is available in pawn shops. As parents, it is important to make children understand the effects of drugs on our human body well ahead of time. Sooner the better. Did all of that make sense to you? Yes, Pa. Appa, hmm? I have a question about the story. Yes, Papa. What happened to Indra, Pa? Didn't he get all the punishment as well? Well, well not immediately. Granddad used to tell us that the Vaishnava Kandam in the Skanda Puranam proceeds to talk about how Indra gets his way and sacrifices the animals. He consumes them and also consumes Varuni, the divine liquor. He becomes inebriated. he fails to pay respects to to guru brahaspati is it is this where the story connects to brahmahatya dosha illa pa not here this is where the story connects to something even more interesting you remember indra gave away his vijayanti mala the unwilting garland to king vasu sage durvasa once wanted to gift another such vijayanti garland to indra but since Indra was not in his senses from the divine liquor. Indra fails to honor the Vijayanti Mala that Sage Durvasa gives him. Instead, Indra makes his elephant, the Airavatam, wear it. Enraged, Sage Durvasa curses Indra to lose his immortality 
and all the benefits of the great ashwamedha which indra took so much trouble to conduct oh god then what happens pa well they all go to lord mahavishnu to ask for direction of course as usual <laughs> and the skanda puranam talks about how lord mahavishnu advises them to speak to the asuras and together perform the churning of the milk ocean for the divine amritam or the ambrosia oh the samudra mantanam story yes and as part of the group of devas who got amritam in the end granddad used to tell us that king vasu also received a drop and so returned to the skies as the pole star again <laughs> so what you are telling is rishab will also get a punishment at his house but appa what papa how did mahavishnu allow his dear devotee to fall from the same position he had granted him this is what is called leela or divine play didn't lord mahavishnu make indra dimna search high and low for the purushottam kshetra bimba and make him perform a thousand ashwamedha yagnas and then make him create three more idols in the process what indra dimna and lord narayana played a treasure trove game with mahavishnu's idol <laughs> yes where is the purushottam kshetra pa current day jagannatha temple at puri odisha the three idols of puri jagannath what all happened hey the fellow go to sleep now appa and then you can hear it first on ancient anecdotes on your favorite podcast streaming providers tune in every week for a brand new episode <laughs>